Referring to any golf club as being sexy is, uh, well, it's a bit weird to be honest with you, but I will say these are two of the very best looking hybrids I've ever seen in the marketplace. They come from TaylorMade and Callaway, as the title suggests. They're their Apex Pro and the Sim 2 Rescue. They're very much what you class as probably their better players hybrids. They're small in terms of their overall profile. They look absolutely stunning. I'd probably, on a personal level, shy away from them normally and go for the sort of bigger overall head shape. But I'm gonna see if I can get some numbers out of these things to persuade me to put one of these in the bag because on a looks perspective, they go straight in there, either one of them. Now, in many of the recent reviews, you'll know that when I talk about splitting drivers in terms of performance, they're virtually all very much at a level. They all perform very, very similar. I do think there's been changes in things like irons, in fairways, and in clubs like these, into hybrids. I do think that's where we've seen some advances in technology, and that's what I'm gonna look at today in these two. But they're very much different at address is the key thing to mention here. Really nice in terms of the top line, but very, very different. I'm really in favor, and I always have been if you watch the channel, this sort of classic almost uh, teardrop look that has been adopted in the Sim 2. But the way they finished it off in terms of that uh, gloss, thick uh, top line and fading it into that crown, I think is really so, so nice at address. And I also criticize the bottom end of the Sim drivers, and that is completely the opposite in terms of the rescues because it looks again superb real quality finish to it and honestly i just wish they'd have put exactly the same finish on the bottom of the driver as they have into these hybrids you go into the callaway and like i said it's an odd shape i'm not used to them um it's kind of almost a high toe end you see a lot of the club face at address it, it's that's the bit I struggle to get used to. It's that style of and they're very much uh, in the, the Callaway theme of what they do with hybrids. So that bit's a little bit odd. So from looks at address, I would certainly be going for the Sim 2 Rescue. But we all know it's about performance, so I'll shut up and I'll start hitting some golf balls. It's very neutral at address and again, some of the hybrids look very closed, uh, which I don't particularly like, but this offers up Quite a bit of loft in terms of the face that you see at address. Dark face. A real great sound out of them. I've got, seriously, uh, I always uh, struggle when I've already collected data not to give too many of the secrets away, but these two are performing really, really well. But where the changes have been made, just how good they sort of sound and feel. I I'm really taken aback by those differences. Um, I, I struggle to describe sound and feel, it's so, so difficult, but they've got that balance right, as I've mentioned in a few videos, is where you want to feel like there's a bit of an explosion off the face in terms of it's getting out there, but you want some soft um, responsiveness into the hands. And to be fair, that ball I just hit was with the Sim 2, but it's exactly the same in the Callaway product as well. They've just done overall a really good job of a very neat profile. Maybe it is going to appeal slightly more to the player's market, I suppose. And I wouldn't put myself in that category necessarily, but I've got no problem in using, thinking I've got the ability to use either of these products either. Slightly louder, crisp sound you can hear off of the Apex. And again, probably swaying towards the Sim, it's a slightly softer feel. Um, that, that, it's, uh, that, that, that resonates back into the ears and into their head. And I probably, I just prefer that. And again, just going back to that difference in address, you see a lot more of the face, as I say, a dark face on the, on the Sim 2 product, a lighter face on this. And again, it offsets against the black. I just struggle, like I said, with that more sort of bulbous, higher um, toe end uh, to get this thing squared up at address or feel as uncomfortable and square at address. That's an issue that I would have. I'm just going to switch back and see what, uh, switch back into this SIM product again. Really nice bit of um, balance between this 10 size shaft and feel a, certainly feel a head through the swing, which I like. It's got a bit of weight in it. Um, I'm really, really impressed with this product. Oh, God, that is so nice as well. Great launching. There's a slight difference I feel in terms of the way each of these products launch, but also equally impressed with how they perform overall. It's just a real, real interesting line they've introduced here. Overly impressed. We want to know about numbers. I'll carry on it in balls and collecting that and we'll break down the data. 
But let's have a quick look at what's gone into both of these products in terms of their tech spec. Right, in terms of tech spec, it's going to be fairly brief. We'll look at both models and I'm going to pretty much read from the uh, TaylorMade and Callaway websites respectively. Um, we've got a new leading edge on the TM product, different sole geometry, optimized CG, all the things you'd expect to hear. Uh, the V-Steel sole, which I like visually, I don't know how much impact it has in terms of on turf interaction, uh, but it makes its first uh, appearance in the rescue woods. We've seen it in the fairways come back after years of being away. I like it visually, but I don't know what it does in terms of performance wise. It's a forge face and we've also got twist face, which we all know about by now. Um, this through slot speed pocket, as they call it, um, it's been designed to maintain higher ball speeds off this bottom of the club face, the bottom grooves. And as I understand, and Callaway make this point uh, in their uh, sort of appeal, is that's a common place for us average golfers is to get it off those bottom grooves. So to see or not see ball speeds drop off, then that's a very much a positive. Um, don't forget, adjustable sleeve in the TM product, it's available in three different heads, a two, a three, and a four, and that's 17, 19.5, and 22 degrees of loft, but then with that adjustability. Um, into the Callaway head, which I've got a sort of uh, a, a, a deconstructed um, Callaway head. And what it really see, what, what you see inside of there is the, uh, the jailbreak. Um, it's now called, they're called jailbreak velocity blades. We know what they do, um, but, but what they've done in terms, of the, um, in terms of the hybrid is very much the same as what I said in the TM product, is they've made sure that they try and maintain ball speeds on that lower end of the face. So both clubs trying to do the same thing. Um, AI design face again, uh, it's a forge face. Iron like an address is what they say. I'm struggling on that one, to be honest with you. Uh, it's available in four different heads, a two, three, four, and a five, and they're 18, 20, 23, and 26 degrees, but no adjustability. That's it, tech spec done. I'm gonna go straight into numbers in terms of performance, and this is what I achieved with these two heads. Right, I'm gonna put both of, uh, what I've done in a lot of videos of late, I'll put the averages of both so we can go through them now and then I'll put the full data collected at the end and I will also put the dispersion up as well. The third noticeable difference is ball flight and launch angle in particular. It starts with uh, 11 and 11.9 degrees, the TM being the higher launching ball. It was very visible throughout the testing and more so in terms of peak height because there was a huge difference. 81 on average with the TM, 68 with the Callaway. 132 ball speed out of both of them, incredibly, um, incredibly similar. Um, and then we've got a spin number of 4.2 on the TM, 3.8 on, uh, on the Callaway, and both of them again, unbelievably, 198 carry, uh, 198.8, whatever it was, just a uh, minimal difference splitting them over a fair old uh, sample of shots, to be honest with you. Um, what I'm gonna say at this point is that they each do what they do very well, but, but get there in a different way, and it would be dependent on what you're looking for. I lean towards the, with a hybrid, what the TM product did, which was a much higher ball flight. It was still a strong ball flight. Although the spin went up to 4.2, that's really probably a positive to get out at sort of uh, still that 198, 198 carry, 4.2 spin with a descent angle of 40 degrees. And again, they're really, really strong numbers to suggest that coming into a green from 200 yards away, you're gonna get that, uh, that ball to stop. So I preferred that ball flight. Having said that, there's plenty of golfers out there that might prefer to see the more lower penetrating piercing ball flight of the Callaway. Argument for both, but for me, like I said, and for most average golfers, I think you'd be leaning towards the, um, the TM product. The other thing to say is, I said most average golfers, when these products came in, uh, I looked at them both, and if I'm honest with you, I sort of pushed them to the back of the pile in terms of the reviews, because they did look like uh, what I would certainly class as the better player hybrid. They're really, really small and compact. When the two are together, uh, perhaps not picked up on the, the visuals that I've put in these head-to-head -head so far, there's a, quite a big difference as well. The Callaway is really compact, and I think would scare so many golfers away. And even like I said, that TM product is a little bit bigger in profile, but most of us would look at them on the shelf and perhaps think they're just a little bit too small and compact. And that's the big shock that I had because, again, 
if you take everything at face value, which I would have done, I wouldn't have tried them. But we give them a go and I soon learned they were really, really impressive. I was amazed, to be honest with you, A, um, how it performed, how easy it was how in terms of that launch and forgiveness and all them things that you perhaps would consider being an issue with them. And the size and mass didn't really detract from its performance whatsoever. I found it no easier or more difficult to use than any other hybrid I've tested. In fact, like I said, I'd put it on that uh, more impressive uh, spectrum in terms of how easy it was to launch. So the lesson learned from my perspective, and we always say the same thing, is to always try, we've got a vibrating camera over to the left, is to always try the, um, the products for yourself. It's that simple. And don't be put off by, I think, I think the manufacturers are guilty of categorizing products. They put them into a pigeonhole, which straight away says, well, I'm not a better player or I'm not a game improvement type of player. Well, I'm not a high handicap or therefore I shy away. We shouldn't be doing that. A golf club is a golf club. You should just pick it up on its own merits and, uh, and give it a bash. Don't dismiss them. Uh, I've got no more to say really, apart from the fact that I think the TM product would be a clear winner based on the overall package of what it did in terms of performance and in terms of looks, it's probably the best looking hybrid. I'm trying to think of others as I'm speaking, probably the best looking hybrid I've seen on the market to date. It's absolutely stunning. Right, that is me done. A quick shout out again, a massive thanks for the people who a couple of nights ago, we launched our website with merchandise for sale for the first time. I know that with some of the products we're getting really low on stock and potentially when this video goes out on Friday night we might be out of stock so I can't thank everybody enough uh, for buying what they did but if you if you've not been yet then take a look over it's the averagegolfer.co.uk uh, we'd appreciate any support you can uh, you can give over on that platform right thanks for watching uh, subscribe if you don't already and uh, I'll see you all soon should be Monday night